In 2007, Camp Pride first began creating change in Baltimore, Maryland at Towson University. A group of college students, staff, and faculty, as well as Campus Pride founder Shane Winmeyer, held a week-long conference specifically geared towards LGBTQ college students. The week would focus on growing young LGBTQ leaders and activists on college campuses all across the U.S. The first camp was small, but mighty. Students spent the week learning the ropes of how to make change on their campuses and building connections with other students like themselves. They learned quickly that they were not alone. Each camper had a story and each camper got to tell their story and finally be heard. It was magic. As an organization, we learned that not only were we giving our campers a vital education in student activism, but also a safe place to call their own. For some, it was the first safe place they ever had access to. Camp Pride spent a handful of years at Towson University in Baltimore, but then in 2010, we moved to Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. This provided Southern universities better access to the Camp Pride experience and also gave us new connections as an organization. We made it clear that part of our mission would be to establish relationships with every community in which we were stationed. In Baltimore, we made local connections with the then GLCCB and met with leaders in Washington, D.C. Once we were in Nashville, we teamed up with Nashville Cares, an HIV and AIDS treatment and resource center, and local politicians like trans lobbyist Dr. Marissa Richmond. Nashville was a wonderful home to us for five years. Over those years, we grew to be three times as large as the first camp held in 2007. We developed a team of university staff, students, and faculty, as well as artists and activists outside the university setting. We also created a brand new advisor academy for professional staff that work with queer students on their campuses. This was another step in bolstering support and resources for queer college students. In 2015, we moved to Campus Pride's home base of Charlotte, North Carolina. Stationed now in UNC Charlotte, we were able to partner with local HBCU, Johnson C. Smith, and hold a panel and talk back at their university. And we started a Camp Pride career fair with representatives from Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and other local companies. UNC Charlotte also made huge strides in their diversity and inclusion initiatives because of Camp Pride's presence on their campus. No matter where camp was stationed, the same things were always true. Participants would arrive, and we could see how nervous but excited they all were on their first day. The anticipation of who they would meet, how they would fit in, and who they would connect to, if at all, was written all over their faces. This is where that magic comes in. Camp Pride is a place where campers are challenged and learn to challenge others. We teach campers to think, process, and be fully engaged. We encourage our campers to experience their pain, their joy, their success, and their obstacles, and to learn from them. Through our work, we break down the barriers that we often carry around to protect us and allow this trusted few to see us as we really are. It is beautiful and it is why we do this. Every camp arrives with new challenges and new perspectives. We learn from each other and grow to understand our community deeper with each passing year. The fluidity of our identities allows us to move in ways that encourage a constant stream of exciting new beginnings, and we meet those new beginnings with enthusiasm. A perfect example of new beginnings is this current Digital Camp Pride 2020. We are able to reach so many young people in this format, more than we ever could in person. We also were able to provide it free to any and all participants. We can't wait to see what connections we make from this opportunity. Over the years, one thing has remained the same. The participants are never the same person as the one who arrives here. They are forever changed at the end of this experience. Furthermore, every year, when the Pride staff and faculty come together, we bring with us the faces of those you see here. 
We may not remember a name or what year they attended, but we remember the impact they had on the folks around them. We remember the story they told that made our eyes fill with tears. We remember the smile that crossed their face when they looked up from their paper to see a room full of people literally standing in solidarity. We remember the connections they made and the joy they had when they realized that they were surrounded by unwavering acceptance and love. We remember their shy introductions and the long hugs they gave when they were saying goodbye. We carry them all with us always, and so will you after you leave here. Connections at camp are not fleeting. We hold these folks as close as family because they truly are one weird, strong, fragile, forgiving, supportive, flawed, amazing family. That is what Camp Pride is for. The powerful connections built between the people here. We also love to sing, dance, and fill any room with joy. While we may not be able to meet in person, know that you are a part of this family that goes back to 2007. We welcome you to it with open arms. So when you sign off at the end of camp, know that you are never alone. These are the folks you can call on when you need support, need a laugh, or just need someone to listen for a few seconds or for a few hours. Know that you always have a place here at Camp Pride and that just as those that have come before you, you are loved, you matter, and you are one of us.